so you know people you know learn to adjust and our society is as such that it teaches us to adjust yeah it teaches us to compromise yeah uh, for the sake of the child for the sake of the family hello everyone i hope everyone is doing good and taking good care of themselves so today i'm going to try and answer a question that one of my subscriber asked and the question is why didn't my enabling parent protect me from my narcissistic parent and before i get going i would request you all to like share subscribe the channel hit the notification bell so you guys are updated whenever we put out a new content so who are these enabling parents these enabling parents are dysfunctional individuals yeah or they might have been okay and healthy at uh, one point but the longer they spend time with the narcissist um, one becomes dysfunctional in a lot of ways so you know the enabling parent is the one who lacks self-care who lacks self-esteem who lacks self-worth who lacks self-regulation yeah so the enabling parent is basically a dysfunctional human or someone who has become dysfunctional yeah and uh, often you know we have this you know um, anger inside of us we we are angry as to why my mother did not protect me from my narcissistic father why did my father not protect me from my narcissistic mother's rage and fury uh, why didn't my enabling parent protect me and you know the simple answer is because you know those individuals who are spending you know time or those individuals who are in relationship with narcissists are you know uh, dysfunctional you know individuals or they might be okay but they have become dysfunctional with time so do you think uh, you know they would be supporting you over the narcissistic parent no they really don't want that rage they don't want to be antagonized they don't want to be brutalized they don't want to you know to cause the narcissistic partner narcissistic injury because they know what will you know uh, come to them they don't want to set off the narcissist so that is the reason they really don't uh, you know get into this saving business both the parents are narcissistic or one parent is narcissistic the other is dysfunctional dysregulated and you know simply uh, functions as an enabler yeah becomes the enabler to this narcissistic parent so you know you really cannot expect much from those who really have no understanding about self-worth self-esteem self-care self-regulation can you expect you know something you know from the individual who lack these things the answer is no yeah so you know these enabling parents have inability to you know take care of their own self they have been groomed and conditioned maybe from their family or maybe you know since the time they are with this narcissist you know they have been groomed and conditioned to serve the narcissist and they really don't want to get into any of the complicated situation and scenario they just want some peaceful time they don't want their food supply resources um, you know shelter uh, medical they don't want to, to jeopardize all of that yeah so they simply are quiet so what if your father hit you so what if your mother hit you yeah so these enabling you know parents are either dysfunctional individuals like from start or individuals who have been made dysfunctional yeah i mean the longer you stay in narcissistic relationship we know you will become dysfunctional narcissist is going to chip away your self esteem self worth the narcissist is going to train you yeah to prioritize the narcissist and not prioritize your own self the narcissist is going to make you abandon your own authenticity the narcissist is going to you know uh, teach you the art of shape shifting so you know the partner also goes through all of that yeah so expecting your other parent to protect you from your narcissistic parent i think uh, 
it's uh, not good. You should not expect. Because the first red flag is why would a healthy, sane person spend time with the narcissistic individual? Definitely there is some problem. And that's the reason he or she is spending time with the narcissistic individual. Yeah. So, you know, if they have spent so much of time together, do you think, uh, you know, she's going to jeopardize her food, house, medical? No. Do you think he is going to jeopardize, you know, his, you know, household and all of that? You know, just because, uh, you know, she's uh, crazy and she's a little, you know, antagonistic and narcissistic. No. So, you know, people, you know, learn to adjust. And our society is as such that it teaches us to adjust. Yeah. It teaches us to compromise. Yeah. Uh, for the sake of the child, for the sake of the family. So, you know, these enabling parents are dysfunctional individuals because uh, no healthy parent would stay in such a relationship no healthy parent would tolerate all of that bs and wouldn't tolerate uh, the narcissistic parent to treat you horribly they will you know protect you they will stand up with you or they will end the relationship if your other parent is healthy but if your other parent is dysfunctional maybe from the start or maybe they have become dysfunctional since the time they are in the relationship Please don't expect much. They are not going to come and rescue you. They are not going to come and help you. Yeah? Because they are also complying to the narcissistic parent because they don't want to jeopardize their living. Yeah? So don't have such high expectations from your enabling parent. Yeah? The next reason why enabling parents don't protect you from your narcissistic parent is because they want to protect themselves. Yeah? They are so dysfunctional, they are so dysregulated, or you can say they might be nascent narcissists themselves. They just want to protect themselves and they really don't want to, you know, go ahead and protect you because uh, if they are going to, you know, come to rescue you or if they are going to try and protect you, uh, that is going to hurt the ego of the narcissist and they don't want the narcissist to do a number at them. So they simply let the narcissist do the dirty dance. They simply let the narcissistic parent do whatever he or she wants, yeah, because they want to protect themselves. They don't want to go through that roller coaster ride. They don't want to experience the rage and wrath of the narcissistic partner. They don't want that. So they simply let the narcissist do whatever he or she wants to do with you. The next reason why your enabling parent did not protect you from the narcissistic parent is because they did not uh, see abuse as abuse. Maybe from where they come, that was a normal thing. Yeah. Or maybe if they have come from healthy, you know, background and now they are in narcissistic relationship, they are modified. Yeah they are reconditioned so yeah. they might not have the ability to see abuse and address abuse uh, they might find it absolutely okay and normal yeah so expecting them to rescue you you know is something which you shouldn't because uh, they are not seeing abuse as abuse for them it's okay so what it's your father after all even my father used to do all of these things even my mother used to hit me but after all he you know brings food on the table after all your mother does things for you so you know uh, they will gaslight you in return so you know don't expect your enabling parents to you know rescue you from your narcissistic parent they won't and the next reason why your enabling parent did not protect you from your narcissistic parent is because you know the narcissistic parent was controlling the finances so the enabling parent doesn't want to jeopardize his or her position yeah and uh, they never you know um, objected or they never interfered or they never intervened into you know such uh, issues and scenario because they don't want to jeopardize the household they don't want to jeopardize um, their food their rent their medicine they don't want to jeopardize that so they simply allowed the narcissistic parent to do whatever they want because they don't want to jeopardize their, you know, uh, life support. They don't want to, to jeopardize their sustenance and living. Yeah. And as a result of which, uh, they let the narcissist do the dirty dance because the narcissist is earning the money. The narcissist is the financial controller and uh, the narcissist uh, is the, you know, head of the family. So let the narcissist do whatever 
he or she wants and let me just be there yeah so these were a couple of reasons you know why your enabling parent you know uh, never really you know protected you from the narcissistic parent yeah uh, the entire idea or you can say uh, the entire you know this uh, uh, expectation is uh, not legit you should not expect anything from dysfunctional individuals you should not expect anything you know from an individual who is spending time with a toxic individual narcissistic individual i get it sometimes we have this anger inside of us why didn't my mother protect me why didn't my father protect me i i get it but uh, you need to you know see things more clearly you cannot just be emotional about things yeah. so you know you expecting your enabling parent to protect you is absolutely irrational and not legit yeah because they are dysfunctional individuals yeah and the longer they are spending time with the narcissist they are becoming more dysfunctional so do you think a dysfunctional person can come and rescue you out of uh, any you know a uh, bad situation or scenario no they are simply going to you know maybe gaslight or enable the narcissist or you know maybe uh, simply you know uh, ignore yeah so you know expecting things from a dysfunctional individual is not right yeah so, so we, we need to keep aside our emotions and we need to see things the way they are we need to have radical acceptance that my father or mother was a narcissist my other parent was the enabling parent and they were together because they both you know were you know giving and taking things from each other yeah there was some kind of a you know balance there was some kind of an exchange that was happening yeah my dysfunctional mother was getting something from my narcissistic father or my dysfunctional father was getting something from my narcissistic mother and that's how they were you know together yeah so you know expecting things from a dysfunctional person is absolutely not right yeah see them for who they are i know it feels sad but you need to move on you need to work on yourself and you need to move on you can't expect you know answers or closures as to why your narcissistic parent abused you as to why your enabling parent did not you know uh, protect you um, don't waste your time on all of that simply don't expect anything from dysfunctional individuals yeah so yes this was it in case if you would like to add in something you can always comment below till then take care of yourself lots of love and blessings to all of you bye